Okay, Lee, hi. I'm Amy Vidraska. I am with Horse Junkies United, so nice to meet you. Yeah, Lee McGee. I'm off-road driving instructor for Land Rover North America. Okay, are you ready? What do I need to do? Well, first thing we'll do, we have the car is in low range. We have the air suspension raised up. We're over in rock crawl in our terrain response, and that will give us speed tractability as we go around the course. Okay, now how is that going to help me if I'm hauling my horse and I'm stuck in a muddy well, field? Well, it, it, it's to your advantage because of, of terrain response. We have various positions which alter the vehicle to accommodate the medium you're driving. Okay. So if you were on sand, grass, gravel, snow, why uh, the vehicle will conform and behave in a particular fashion for that medium. And uh, so it takes, it, it helps the driver on that type of uh, terrain. Okay, because see, Lee, here's what I'm looking for. I'm a mother, I'm a worker, I need something that will take me to my business appointments. I need something that will take me and my kids to lacrosse right. and soccer, you know the drill. Right. And then I need something that's going to haul my horses to a show. Right. So I need, I need functional, I need professional, and then I, I need serious kick butt pull and power. Right. Well, this vehicle has 375 horsepower, 375 foot, foot pounds of torque. Mm -hmm. It'll seat seven, oh. and all of those seats in the back go flat, so you can get hay bales, oats. Uh, if you need to sleep in it at a horse show, Amen. Okay. you can get two or three kids. Does it have a shower up. and a refrigerator? <laughs> right. You can get a full length roof rack, seat covers, a dog cage in the back, and it's winch approved for airbag deployment. Ooh. So if you do get stuck or you, you have to pull the trailer out of the mud or whatever, mm -hmm. uh, use it on the farm, why uh, you have an approved winch for the front of the car. Good to know. All right, so how am I going to approach all, right. all Here's this? Here's what we'll do. We'll uh, we'll come to drive. Okay. And then pull the gear shift over to the left. Uh -huh. That'll put us in first gear. Got it. Push down on the front of the brake release right here. The front. parking okay, brake. That one. Right. Got it. And we'll head to the top of that hill. Okay. This has numerous features. Uh, on the transmission, you have re regular automatic, you mm -hmm. have a sport mode, so it'll rev higher gear down sooner. What which does that is, do? Which is automatic, so oh, say okay. you're scooting along briskly. I can, yes. And then we have command shift, which is one through six, so you can drive it as a stick shift. Oh! Right, we'll stop here. Oh, we will, okay. Yeah. Now, uh, another great feature for coming down uh, out of the mountains, uh, if you had to go on a trail and uh, you're coming down, uh -huh. we have a hill descent control, Ooh. which is uh, a braking uh, assistance from the ABS system okay. that will, uh, we have a default speed of two miles an hour and we can adjust that up to 12. So if it's a long, gradual downhill, uh -huh. that you can, you can adjust the uh, descent speed. So if I need a little help with the brain system, well, the car helps on Well, that. it's that, or if, if two miles an hour is too slow, you can speed it up and still have the braking feature so automatically power. taking place. Okay. And as an example, what we'll do here is I'll have you go forward, no brakes, no gas, and we'll let the componentry of the vehicle slowly take us down the hill. So it, sometimes people have a tendency to step on the brake too hard when they're sliding down hill, and so that corrects that? Yes. It, Fabulous. It'll uh, take care of that itself, and it will prevent skidding. Oh, so it avoids the big safety feature. It avoids the big safety. Okay, right. so what do you want me to Take do? Take your foot off the brake. No brake, no gas. Seriously? Straight over the edge. Trust in God and go yeah, down. That's oh it. my lord. If I could do it. Trust in God. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. Okay. Okay. So this is <laughs> about walking speed. Wow. Right I almost want to step on the gas, make it go faster. Right, yeah, it's almost Okay, too can slow. I? Sure. May I? Yep, All right. Through here. Oh, sweet. Now, with the air suspension raised up into off-road mode, we have increased our ground clearance underneath uh -huh. the car. Oh! So again, you're, how much you're do in, we have now? Well, we've picked the vehicle up about 3.7 inches okay. off of uh, from when the car is in access height, which is you can drop the car down to the bump stops if you're loading kids. You got hay bales, saddles, you pull and tack out, and. Uh, underground parking. Okay, do you want me to keep going? Yeah, we're, we're all straight. right, all right. Sure. You're trusting me on my yeah, own here to uh, make decisions? We're doing fine. All right. So, or if you're in a, wow. a flooded street, you can raise the car up. This is a, an angle and I don't feel like I'm gonna tip over. The Land Rovers all have low center of gravity. Uh -huh. Now, of course, you can roll anything over, but 
our vehicles, the weight is down low. Uh -huh. Land Rover has to do two things. Be able to do off-roading uh -huh. every day, all day, get on the road, drive right. in a straight line. It's kind of like what we have to do in dressage. Right. There we go. Okay, right here, uh -huh. I want you to come off the gas. Okay. No gas, no, no gas. brakes, and no, the no. car is going to walk by itself. So we have duality of purpose. Can I brake, please? Uh, you don't have to. Trust it, trust it, trust it. It'll walk us around nice and slowly. Oh, Call it I don't Call normally it like when my horse or my car thinks for itself, but this is kind of nice. There we go. Wow. I didn't touch anything right. aside from the... Wow. With the duality of purpose, there are other four-wheel drives that are swell for a flat road with snow uh -huh. on them. If you bring them out into this condition where you have massive torsional loading through the drivetrain and the body, they're not intended for outdoor use. Things will bend, things will break because structurally they're not intended for it. Our vehicles are. They have to be able to do this uh -huh. and the on-road. I'm not even braking. This is amazing. We'll come a little bit to your right. Okay. And now we're going to start a tight turn around the tree. So hard left, all the way left. Left, left, left. I'm, all the way left. All the way left. Easy on the gas. I'm, I'm not even touching the gas, Good. really, because this is yeah. a big, steep hill. It's kind of steep. Are you sure it's not going to hit underneath? I don't want to wreck yeah. the car. No, nope, not going to do that. Holy crap. And if you I look at these... I bottomed out my truck going over a median. This you hit are. nothing. <laughs> Sorry, Lake. You can see there's quite uh, an undulation with this terrain, but with our independent suspension and articulation, we're not touching. It's a smooth ride, and you're in control. This is wild. Okay, off to the right. Okay. And as we go along slowly, uh -huh. it gives us time to pick and choose our line, and you and the car are together as, as one. This is a lot like doing the whole horseback thing, Lee. Right? This is, I can see why Land Rover and the different horse disciplines, the different equestrian disciplines are partners. It makes sense. Okay, do I let off the gas or let nope. off the brake? No brakes, no, no gas. No nothing, no yeah. nothing. Trust in uh -huh. Land Rover. Yeah. Trusting in Land Rover. And that little thumping sound you hear uh -huh. is the ABS pump okay. actuating no differently than if it was a a panic stop and you were pushing on, on the brakes and stuff. Go. We'll head across the pond. This through the right. gap here. And we're we are good oh. we are good to plus thirty five inches of water. Holy cow <laughs> self editing there. Wow, how deep is this? Well it's uh you guys want to switch drivers? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having too She's much got fun. the boots I already drove through once. Holy cow. Okay, so now we'll, uh, we'll slow okay. up a little bit, all right, all right. and we'll come to the right. Uh -huh. Just come to the right, right a little bit. Right. Good, good, good. All right. There you go. Uh -huh. Now, swing that front end around. Okay. Easy on the gas. We'll just let the car walk by itself. Okay. Because of the low gear ratio in the engine idle circuit, it will putt right along. Gives us time to figure out what we need to do here. Very good. All right.